So I was hoping to show how I used the Egg Rider to program a restricted road mode for the BBS HD. Instead, I'm detailing how I managed to screw up the firmware in the BBS HD and temporarily crippled my bike. What I wanted to do was to set the maximum speed of the bike to 32 kilometers an hour, to set the throttle to 20 kilometers an hour, after which it would cut out, and to set the overall power um, or the max draw in amps to 20 amps. So I made changes on the Egg Rider display settings page, the Bafang throttle settings page, and the Bafang basic settings page. This is all done within the Egg Rider mobile app. At this point everything seemed to be great until I switched to off-road mode. The power stayed the same and the restrictions on the throttle and top speed seemed to remain in effect. So I reset the changes I made and wrote them to the controller. The bike now has very little power regardless of the settings and settings are not being written by the egg rider it would seem. The motor also seems to be locked to a maximum draw of 15 amps, which is really odd because that's not a value that I even put in anywhere. So I'm riding my bike up the same hill, but the performance is worse than the restricted road mode I was trying to create. Uh, I'm using roughly the same gearing and the same PAS 
level, which is at seven. I did a bit of troubleshooting and pretty much tried resetting everything, installing apps, clearing caches, all the usual stuff that you would try when you're having a problem like this. Um, didn't really change anything. Um, so I tried my old display, and it's also still at 15 amps. So I don't think it's really the, the general function of the egg rider display that's causing the problem. Um, so I put the egg rider back on, and I did some troubleshooting with George from Egg Bikes. Uh, he's a really nice guy. Um, we did screen sharing over Skype, and he couldn't see a reason why the egg rider was um, causing the problem or what had happened during the programming to cause the problem. Um, I don't think it's the motor uh, in a physical way, as they apparently tend to fail in more obvious ways, but they just stop working because you've burnt the motor, uh, the controller out, or you've shredded a, a nylon gear in there. Um, it seems to sound normal, just low power. Um, which really just at the moment leaves the control of firmware as the main suspect. Um, somehow it seems that maybe I've corrupted it and during programming. I've not found any other mention of this happening like this on the internet. Um, so I have a few, well I have really three options to explore now I think. The first option is to flash the firmware to overwrite any corrupted parts that have may been introduced and I need a, like a programming cable and a PC to do that. The second option is to put in a new controller like a stock Bafang BBSHD controller and the third option would just be to use a different external controller uh, to run the motor. So I guess this is kind of like to be continued and I'll post again when I figure out what's going on. If anyone has any ideas what's happened, I'd love to hear them um, because this has stumped people that are way clever and more experienced than me in, in electric bikes. Um, anyway, cheers.